Lyft is the second largest rideshare company, second only to Uber, and provides over 1 million rides per day. When Lyft went public in 2019, it was valued at $24.3 billion. Now it's worth $30 billion. In 2020, they had $2.4 billion of revenue, which was much lower than the projected, in part due to the COVID-19 pandemic and travel restrictions. Lyft actually loses money every year, losing $458 million in the fourth quarter of 2020. As this fundamentally relates to the fact that they are still growing and spending more than they make, they are projected to reverse this trend and start netting in the positives in the near future. Logan Green was born in 1983, raised and educated in Santa Monica and Santa Barbara, California. He received his Bachelor of the Arts degree in Business Economics. He was always around traffic, and while in college, he created the Green Initiative Fund and served as a member of the board on the Isla Vista Recreation and Park District. He tackled the campus transportation issue by acquiring a couple Toyota Priuses and some other vehicles and created a ride-sharing program using radios. This program had over 2,000 students sharing just four vehicles. He started out in computer science but quickly got tired of the program because of how regimented it was, so he switched to economics. In college, he had a girlfriend, Eva, and he would often take the bus to see her. The two are now happily married. Once he graduated, he became the director for the Santa Barbara Metropolitan Transit District. He was their youngest director. While living in all the traffic, he forced himself to get around without a personal vehicle and constantly thought about fixing transportation flaws. As he walked, he noticed that many cars only had one person in them. He noted how inefficient this was. He often used Craigslist to get rides for carpooling, but always felt worried about not knowing who the driver was. Through mutual friends, Green met John Zimmer, who had also been fixated on solving the public transportation issue. Green booked a plane to New York to have a meeting. Post-graduation in 2006, Logan Green was visiting Zimbabwe, where he saw they had come up with a makeshift solution to the public transportation problem. They were all ride-sharing. He and John Zimmer created a carpool platform via Facebook and called it Zimride, in honor of the Zimbabwe way. Say that three times fast. In funding, they raised $250,000 and expanded to six employees. They then took Stanford and Dartmouth as clients. In 2010, they raised $1.2 million, then $6 million another year later. Zimride was very similar to Lyft today as they paired paid drivers with carpool passengers, mostly college students. Only they had a pink mustache on the front of their car and encouraged their drivers to fist bump their passengers and to have them sit in the front seat. Eventually they changed and discontinued the fist bump as well as the distinctive large pink mustache. Zimride was sold in 2013 to Enterprise Holdings for $500 million. Green wanted to focus more of his efforts on Lyft and had some new ideas specifically for local ride sharing. As you can see, Zimmer and Green were planning and creating these changes even before he sold Zimride in 2013. They were told it was stupid to start a silly carpooling startup, but they were passionate and they felt that they had found a flaw in the system. One year later, Lyft was giving 30,000 rides a week and raised $60 million. In total, Lyft has raised $5.1 billion in funding across eight funding rounds. They worked hard to create a convenient app for their users as well as change the world and create superior customer satisfaction. Green and Zimmer were named in Inc. Magazine's 35 Under 35, as well as the list of America's best young entrepreneurs. Logan loves reading books and is even able to find books before they are published. He does not drive a fancy car. He will often be found catching a lift for he or his wife. He walks to a gym every morning and works out for 20 to 30 minutes. He eats lunch at his office and often works late past dinner. He often orders from an on-demand food service that provides healthy options. Currently, Logan's Lyft is valued at $30 billion, and he personally is worth $300 million. He was able to create this empire and wealth because of his early fascination with the transportation system. He found an issue and wanted to help create a solution. He spent the last 30 years of his life driven to help create a sustainable way for people to travel. His mission is to help the world and to help people. Some of my favorite quotes from Logan Green include, I try to block out a couple of hours of unscheduled time every day so that I can work on the day's most important projects. Being a jerk doesn't actually get you very far. Our goal was never to create a better taxi. And this one, when you're starting a company, almost anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And it will probably look like and feel like you have made the absolute wrong decision to start the company. If you're not absolutely determined to solve a problem or see something through, it might not make sense to keep going. Wow, so inspiring. With that, I hope you found this video inspiring and hopefully gave you some motivation to push through. Logan Green is a fantastic example of having a mission and determination to help people and change the world. He was able to do this in spite of his many critics and people who did not believe in him. If you thought this was entertaining, make sure to check out some of my other videos about other successful people. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.